This project is about engaging young people in science learning through a creative activity. What these young people did was create a fabulous sculpture installation inspired by histopathology, which is the study of tissue samples to provide a visual analysis and diagnosis for disease. The whole idea of this project was to bring science and art together in a way that would make people understand how the pathological processes work in relation to the anatomical and spatial relationships between the nerves and the neural networks. Well, this project is a collaboration between science, education and art. So first we started with a visit to the hospital and then we went back to the schools and then we brainstormed with the kids and then we came up with an idea that they wanted to make nerve cells. But because it was a pathology, then we had to you know, find a point that it would be something to do with pathology. And that's how we came up with something that's a tumor in the middle of nerve cells. We went to the pathology lab at a hospital and we saw like all these cells and stuff and we looked at them through microscopes to like see the stru structure of what you're going to make. The way that we build the sculptures is we make a metal frame surrounded by ultraviolet reactive material as a skin so that they will glow in ultraviolet and as the outside skin we use plastic bottles or plastic that has been melted to make it look organic and then back into the center of the, of the core of the, of the cell, we have then put crystals or mirrors or something that does then reflect the laser, so to symbolize nucleuses or whatever else is in the cell. First we were given a load of wire and we had to make the basic structure of it. And we twisted it into large shapes that kind of resembled nerve cells. And then we covered it in a kind of twine that reacts to the UV light and we painted it with UV paint. And then we put melted plastic bottles on which kind of refract and make the lasers kind of go all over the place and make interesting effects. Then we put crystals in the middle to make the nucleus. Today, the event is about showing the work. It's about the young people being able to see the work that they've done, installed by artists Obi Square, and to celebrate the wonderful work by the young people. This is a collaboration funded by the Wellcome Trust. It's a collaboration between ourselves, Action Dog, who are the producers, Dr. Khan, who's the consultant pathologist from Queen's Hospital, um, OB Square, the artists, and crucially, the children, students from Islington Arts and Media School and Stoke Newington School. What I really enjoyed about the, this whole project was going to the hospital and looking through the microscopes at the different types of cells. Well, it was really fun like, to like, see how science and art were related and how you could like, link them. I enjoyed making the sculptures because it's like you don't really have any, you don't have any rules to stick to. The building everything and working as a team. I didn't know anything about nerve cells before I did this project, but now I know about how they like grow and change and become cancerous. I knew about nerve cells, but not as much as I do now, because I know that their shape has a lot to do with their, um, their job. It's you know so different than what we usually do in schools. It was it's really interesting to try it and to be creative. I think this work has been about, the whole project has been about actually science learning through the back door. We have, I do feel, believe, been able to find almost a point in which art and science combine and, and been able to hopefully have inspired the kids to find this point as well. 
What, what is extraordinary about this whole project was the energy and the strength and enthusiasm of the young children. These children have been able to see that science is actually extremely creative and so is art. And art is very scientific. So in fact, it's a perfect marriage. It's been really good to bring those two disparate fields together so successfully. Yeah.